If you want to be a CIA man, a confident, intelligent, and assertive guy, understand something. You are going to be insulted because you're a winner. Winners always get insulted by losers. They're gonna call you arrogant. They're gonna call you condescending. They're gonna call you, they're gonna throw a bunch of insults at you, but what they're not gonna say, what they're not gonna do is they're not gonna be able to beat you. It is going to dog it. Anytime someone is a winner, they have haters. Name me how many people hate Tom Brady and the Patriots. But you know who doesn't hate them? Patriots fans. People hate the Dallas Cowboys because they're called America's team. All winners have haters. Let's whip it up. The women that say it, the women that say it, they don't understand why, why they're saying it, because you make it harder for them to actually keep your attention. Oh, did I say that out loud? See, if you are, I've never had a woman call me arrogant, or I'm gonna take that back, take it back. Let me not be hyper, hyperbolic. Arrogant is a compliment for most women. Arrogant is a compliment for most women because it's like, damn, you got balls. You have, you have courage. You have the, you actually have the courage of your convictions. You have enough to stand on it and say it directly to their face and not flinch. So embrace it. Embrace the arrogance. What's the difference between cocky and confidence? Is see, it's not bragging if it's true. If you're a winner, you're a winner. It's not bragging. The difference between cocky and confidence. I look at it, you can be cocky when you have the confidence that you know you're gonna put the work in to get it done. There's one thing to sit around and talk about something and you don't have the work, the hashtag show your work, you don't have the receipts, you don't have the numbers, you don't have the facts, you don't have the data, you just have the belief in yourself. Well, I'm still a proponent for that because here's the thing, only you know whether or not you're gonna do the work. But if you can say you're gonna do great things, you're gonna be great because you know that you're gonna do the work, then do it, say it because can you get a woman who when she saw you, when she met you, was not interested in you, can you get that same woman really attracted to you, really into you, wanna date you, wanna sleep with you, wanna even like marry you, okay? Can you do those things? And I've seen a lot of people say that, you know, I know within five seconds of meeting a guy whether I'm gonna like him or not. You know, I've heard a lot of people say once someone is attracted to you, they stay attracted to you. If they're not attracted to you, then they stay not attracted to you. I'm as a dating coach, I have seen this with dozens of my clients and hundreds of people that I've coached. It is in fact possible to get someone who wasn't attracted to you, attracted to you. Now obviously there are limits, you know, if you've been pursuing somebody for a while and they've still not been into you, you should probably put your focus on other people who more likely are going to be into you. But a lot of times what happens is that when you meet somebody, you get an impression of them. You see a certain side of themselves, and then maybe they see another side of yourself, and they're like, huh, interesting, never saw that before. And their opinion of you changes. So the classic example of this, you know, I had one client who uh, was very shy, uh, wasn't very talkative, and then when they met, she, you know, the girl wasn't very interested in him, but she thought, oh, he's nice, he, he might be a cool friend, so, you know, they exchanged phone numbers. Fast forward a few months later, um, she sees him at an open mic. Okay, he's playing his instrument, he's singing, the crowd's loving it, um, you know, he's getting emotional, and she saw all of this stuff, and the crowd loving it, and everyone's clapping, everyone's amazing. She was like, huh, I never saw this side of him before. And then they started talking, and then they started dating after, okay? Because she had never seen him show like his, his amazing creative side. You know, his confidence side. She had never seen those sides of himself because he had never showed them, all right? And so that's kind of what you have to do. If someone's not interested in you, you have to show the sides of yourself that are gonna be the most attractive. Maybe it's like you hosting an event. Maybe it's you speaking in front of a stage. Maybe it's you playing a sport that you're really good at. If they see those sides of yourself that they hadn't seen before, that's when their heads kind of turn. That's when they start thinking about you in a different way. Now, a problem that a lot of guys have is when they're in the friend zone, especially, they don't show their best side. They show the side that's following her, that's looking to her lead, that's always trying to appease her. And because of that, um, that's not their best side, that's not the most attractive side. So what you gotta do is you gotta show those sides of yourself. And look, there are some skills that you can learn. I myself, in my college life, there was plenty of women who did not go for me. But once I got older, once I started being more confident, once I learned to speak better, once I learned to have game, <laughs> those same women that I met later 
ended up being really, really into me. When at first they wouldn't have batted an eye, they wouldn't have looked twice, they wouldn't have even talked to me at a party. Now they're coming to me, now they're really liking me, now they want to date with me, sleep with me, all of those things. Okay, It happened a while later, but it took time for me to learn those things. And it took time for me to show the best sides of myself as well too. You, know, you see this commonly happen. So I've had this happen with numerous clients, I've had this happen in my own life. Now, there is a caveat. There is something that you guys should be reminded of, and that's that, yes, in, in the example that I gave, when he's performing on stage, when there's a lot of people like looking at him and he's in his most attractive light, women are going to be interested in you. Some women that were ignoring your text messages, that were ghosting you before, are gonna start hitting you up, are gonna start like flirting with you, and it's gonna feel good, and you're gonna be tempted to wanna go for those women now, okay? I would strongly encourage you to play it cool. Wait for a little more signs that they're interested in you. And yeah, sure, if you just wanna hook up with them then, there's a good chance that you might, but if you wanna date these women or get into a relationship with them, I would highly recommend that you wait for some more consistent signs of interest. Because typically what happens is that the women that weren't attracted to you at first, they see that one thing, they see other people into you, maybe they'll flirt with you, maybe they'll hook up with you, but then they'll go back to the way they were before. This doesn't always happen, but if they see consistent signs of attraction in you, and they show consistent signs of attraction back, then, that becomes someone that you should see. Because sometimes there's a lot of women out there that are just very fickle, that are just like, you know, one time they're, you know, one day they're into a guy, the next they're, you know, going after somebody else or uh, they're distracted and they've forgotten about them. These women do, especially if they're young. Um, this tends to happen a lot. So, what should you do if a woman is not attracted to you? Well, figure out ways that you can show the best sides of yourself. You know, learn game, learn how to talk, learn how to better yourself. And that way, when you meet them again, you can make, uh, you can't get a first, a second chance at a first impression, but you can make a better second impression. And I find a lot of the people that say, oh no, I would never be into that person, they end up changing their mind if they see that person in a new light. So figure out what you're good at. Figure out the sides of yourself that make yourself more attractive. First thing that we have on our list, you guys, is for men to be more discreet okay in a world where you have all of these guys being loud and boisterous and over the top and flashy when a guy operates and maneuvers within this realm of mystique and you know he's very reserved into himself oh that is so captivating it really draws us women in and makes us want to gravitate towards you because we want to figure you out we want to know what is it about you that allows you to not operate like all the other guys especially when you are a well-to-do guy because a lot of those well-to-do guys they want to be over the top they want to be the center of attention you know they want to be seen but when you are the type of guy that is successful in your own right you know which means that you're operating from a place of being self-sufficient you know, you're, you're focused, you're driven, you're ambitious, the whole nine. And yet you have this air about you to where you want to be to yourself. Oh, super sexy, super sexy, super sexy. It shows a level of maturity. It shows that you're careful. It's, it shows that you're selective. And again, it's, it's adding to that um woman feeling as though you're an exclusive type of guy because what is it about you that makes you so reserved what is it about you that makes you highly selective and very careful about the things that you share uh the people that you interact with um the things that you do so being discreet is absolutely something that is extremely sexy and attractive on a man because it makes us women want to figure you out and get to know you better so that we can be on the quote unquote in crowd and we too can be exclusive because we have access to the man that is exclusive now fellas the next thing on our list that you guys can do to be more attractive to women that quite frankly, a lot of you guys may overlook because you feel like it's not that important or women are not really paying attention to it. And we are.
we pay attention. Take care of your skin, okay? A lot of you guys skip over this small but very important detail and step as far as being more attracted to women. You know, outside of keeping your hair presentable or your beard uh, tamed and groomed or your mustache or your clothes, your shoes and all of that, you have got to take care of your skin. Fellas, we are watching you. We see that acne. We see those blemishes, okay? We see the dryness. We see the flakes. We see all of it. And honestly, fellas, it's a turnoff when a guy is not making sure that his skin is being presentable. It's like, yeah, he got every, he has everything else under control, but oh, I can't look past the bad skin, you know? And a lot of you may have been getting passed up by women and you you can't figure out like, what is it? Like, why aren't women checking for me? Sir, it's your skin, okay? Um, and I believe this is because on some subconscious level or conscious level, when you have bad skin, it triggers it into a woman's mind that maybe you don't really take care of your hygiene. Maybe you're not that sanitary, you know, like that is what is at play when we are dealing with a guy that has bad skin. So fellas, you have got to take care of your skin you guys so make sure that you are making that investment into your skincare that way you can be more attractive to women now moving along to the third thing on our list as far as being more attractive to women is to be self-sufficient all right this means that you're able to maintain and sustain on your own without having to rely on anybody else. You have all of your needs met, all of your wants met, and guess what? You're not having to beg anybody to get it. That is super sexy, super attractive on a man, all right? Especially because as a man, you're supposed to be on your purpose. You're supposed to be self-sufficient. You're supposed to be able to take care of yourself. And it's so many guys out there, you guys, unfortunately, that they just don't have their stuff together. And so you can really set yourself apart by being the guy that has his own money, has his own place, has his own car, you know, is focused, ambitious, successful. Like he's driven to success, driven to succeed, super sexy. And all women love men that are like that. Okay. Because it's in a female's nature to look for stability and security. And so if a man is self-sufficient, oh, He's a winner. He's a keeper. He's attractive. Fellas, the next thing on our list, as far as what you guys can do to be more attractive to women, and I know it would be a lot of women out there that would maybe have an issue with me saying this, but I'm going to go ahead and say it anyway, because it's the truth. Don't chase a woman do not chase the woman I don't care how attractive you think that she is I don't care how much you like her desire her whatever you do not chase her when you chase her it places it into our minds that you are desperate and maybe you don't have a lot going for you. Contrary to popular belief, you guys, women love to be kept on their toes and we love a little bit of a challenge. Now, I'm not saying that you should not pursue a woman or you should ignore her or act like she doesn't exist or don't give her any attention. I'm not saying that. I'm saying don't chase up behind her. Leave room for her to extend um, an invitation out to you to talk to you, to get into communication with you, to hang out with you. It has to be a two way street. All right. And the reason why I'm telling you guys that this makes you more attractive is because a lot of guys always are being thirsty for a girl and chasing up behind her, especially when she's an attractive woman. It's very 
predictable and typical and you know it can get boring after a while and so what would set a guy apart is the guy that is showing interest but he's also um allowing us to again check up behind him to see what he's about you know it shows us that maybe he has options maybe he's a busy guy which equates to that guy being on his purpose somebody that is driven and focused on maybe building his finances or establishing himself like you're preoccupied with other things that are of importance to you you know and so it's very sexy when a guy is not spending all of his time chasing up behind women chasing up behind a female even if that woman is us and we like you back you know and we're interested in you it's very very attractive when that guy once again can create some kind of space and boundaries um to allow the woman to check up behind him um because we're, a lot of us quite frankly we're just not used to that you know it keeps us on our toes it keeps us guessing a little bit not too much because again you're still showing interest but at the same time it shows that you have enough um esteem about yourself to where you know you're allowing somebody else to pursue you back you know so never chase it behind a woman pursue her yes show her that you're interested yes but never become overbearing and never continuously go out of your way to seek her out allow her to do that for you as well because again we're not used to that and again it shows that you know you respect okay. i mean how many times have you said no to this girl how many times have you disagree with her how many times have you actually led and have her follow you know you have to think of it as like this okay so i've said this again and again on my channel okay the man-to-woman interaction is the man leads and the woman follows. So it's like you're the captain of a ship. She's like a person who's on shore, but you're the captain of the ship. And she can decide if she wants to jump on board your boat. But if she jumps on board your boat, you're the captain. You're the person who's steering the ship. You're not A, a captain doesn't be like, hey, so where do you guys want to go? Do you want to go over there? Are you sure? We can go anywhere you want. If you're that kind of captain, she's going to be like, this captain doesn't know where he's going. I'm jumping off this boat. Okay, that's what creates real desire is a guy who knows what he wants and is going for it, who is on his path. If you want to read books about this, I would recommend reading The Way of the Superior Man. No More Mr. Nice Guy would help too because I think there's a lot of nice guy tendencies as well for this. Um, but yeah, you have to be a man. A man leads. A man goes after what he wants. And if people don't want to jump on board, that's fine, dude. He's still going to go after what he wants. The problem with a lot of these guys is because they're so worried about losing the girl that they're afraid to say no. They're afraid to disagree with her. They're afraid to lead and have her not follow they always want to ask and make sure that she likes everything because when we grow up in life we're constantly seeking the approval of women whether it's our teacher whether it's our mother who I don't know whatever in your life we're taught to do this and that makes for you know that's good for not getting in trouble a lot or well, sometimes it does honestly overall I'd say probably not the best strategy um, but it definitely for sure does not get women to desire you. What gets women to desire you is you not giving a shit if they like follow you or not. Like that kind of th that kind of attitude is what women really desire. And if you're afraid about disappointing her, about upsetting her, that kills her desire like that. That's needy approval seeking behavior. And people do it subconsciously. Like I didn't mention a few of these things that he was doing on the date, but if you delve into what this guy was saying, was a lot of the times he was kind of waiting around and wondering what she wanted to do during the day that just doesn't matter okay that just doesn't work that doesn't get her to want her desire she's like dude like you're the guy make the decision you know figure out what we're gonna do so I put myself in positions all the time where I'm talking to women and I'm inviting them to come jump on my ship to come jump on my path and if they want to jump on great if they don't that's not a big deal either too I'm gonna find a girl who will jump on and a lot of the girls that didn't jump on at the beginning when they first saw me saw me see me later going doing my thing being on my path and then they're like you know what I think I'm gonna jump on this ship now okay but you will never ever get the girl to jump on the ship by waiting at the dock and hoping she'll jump on and saying nice things to her complimenting her and like trying to make her happy in the moment okay you have to sacrifice temporary comfort for long-term desire that is what really gets women to want to sleep with you but the problem is too many of these nice guys they fall into traps where they're constantly seeking their temporary approval 
It's a really low value thing to do, okay? Um, and it's actually quite deceptive. So I, I think that you should be going after what you want, leading, planning the dates, doing the things that you want to do. Sure, compromise every now and then is fine, but at the end of the day, if you're constantly doing it to make her like you, she is never going to want to sleep with you. Um, and so that's my conclusion to this video, is that's what women mean when they say we have no chemistry, okay? And they're trying to be nice, and ultimately, if you ask women, like, why, what they mean by no chemistry, they will never tell you the truth, probably because they don't really understand their own feelings themselves and they don't really know what it means to be a man they because it's not their experience dude they, they're used to dealing with other stuff like the guys who they actually desire you know screwing them over like th that's the sort of stuff they worry about they don't worry about nice guys screwing them over they um that's just not in their this is not in their dna to, to worry about so um you're not going to get a straight answer from them but you will get a straight answer from me